Welcome to the EISD Smart Choice online application. In this video, we will show you how to fill out the online application for your student to apply to an EISD school. If this is your first time, please create an account by filling out the right-hand side. For the purposes of this video, we will go ahead and log in. The first step in the application process is to select Start a New Application. Please visit EISD's website to review the dates for the application and registration based on that school year. Now you're ready to begin your student's application. Make sure to select the correct school year you are applying for. Next, answer whether or not your student is currently enrolled in an EISD school. If you select yes, you will be prompted for the student's ID number. If you select no, you will be prompted to add more information on the next page. If you do not know the student's ID number, you can contact the student's campus to verify. If you know the student's ID number, you will be prompted to fill out the number, the student's first and last name, and birth date. Next, read the requirements and policies and check the box to agree. Then click Continue to Application. In the next section, you will verify the student's information. If you entered your EISD student ID number in the previous section, you will see their information auto-populated on this page. Please review and verify the information is correct. If you are registering a new to EISD student, please fill out all the required sections. When entering the student's previous campus, scroll down to select Other and type the name of the campus. If applicable, please include the previous school district your child attended. Once you are done entering and verifying the student's information, you will be asked if the student is a child of a current EISD employee or board member. Select yes or no for these questions. Then click continue to move on to the next section. In this section, you will verify the student's guardian information. Please select which guardian or guardians the student lives with. If you select an option for multiple guardians, you will need to fill out the second guardian's contact information. For the sake of this video, we will select a single guardian option. Please select your relation to the student in the drop-down box. Next, you can enter or verify your address. Next, select which phone you prefer to be reached at. You can add more phone numbers as a backup. Verify your email is correct, as this is where you will receive updates on your student's application status. In the next section, please let us know how you heard about EISD or your student's campus. To move on to the next section, click Continue. If you need to step away from the application, you can select Save and Exit. In this section, you will have the opportunity to select up to three campuses for your student to apply to. There is a map view of your address, marked as a yellow icon, in relation to the applicable schools your student can attend, marked as blue icons. Below the map, you have three boxes to select your student's first, second, and third choice for school. If you prefer, you can select only one option. However, if your student does not get into that first choice, they will be automatically placed into their zoned neighborhood school. Once you select a campus from the drop-down menu, you will see there is a link to visit that campus webpage to learn more about what they offer. If you want to learn more about any EISD school, you can click on the Schools tab in the upper right corner. After you select your student's school or schools, you can press Continue to move on to the next step. In this section, you will have the opportunity to add information about the student's siblings. Please select whether or not the student applying has a sibling currently attending their first choice campus or has a sibling that will also be applying to that same campus. If you select yes, you will be prompted to add the sibling's name, birth date, school choice, and incoming grade level. You can repeat this step for all the applicant's siblings applying to EISD. Next, you can select whether or not the applicant's sibling ever attended their first choice school. Then click continue to move on to the next step. At this point, you will need to give your signature to verify you are a legal guardian for the applicant and all the information you have given is correct. Once you have reviewed the statement, please give your e-signature and press continue to review and submit your application. Finally, you will see your entire application on this page. Review all of the information. If you need to make changes, you can press the edit button to the top corner of the sections box. Once you have ensured all the information is correct, please press send my application. After you press submit, you will get a pop-up that states you will not be able to edit your application information. Press OK and then you will see your application is marked as complete. Return to the dashboard and you can repeat this process for all additional students in your household. If you have any additional questions or concerns, you can reach out to your student's campus. You can find the campus contact information under the Contact Us tab in the top right corner. Thank you for choosing Edgewood Independent School District to educate your student. 